Hi everyone, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. So I wanted to share with you a, a coffee and sweets themed um, project that I created for a meetup that I'm going to. I made 30 of these tags and um, they're all kind of different uh, in terms of color and the pairing and, and the corrugated cardstock and the paper cardstock. Um, but this main file I pulled from the Lori Whitlock SVG. I have a Cricut Explore. So I wanted, I had actually downloaded this file in November when they had their 50% off SVG sale. And I don't know if she has it a couple of times a year, but if you're on the lookout for that, it's a, it's really cute. It's um, doodle bug. I believe this is the cream and sugar and this is the iced coffee. Um, so I love um, how it came out. I actually cut it according to my cat scrappiness tag that I used. I cut it out at two and a half by four inches tall. And um, let me show you everything that I used to create this. Um, I used this second largest uh, oval scallop from Cat Scrappiness. I used the largest tag. It's a scallop tag and it's stitched. And um, I used the, I guess, second largest um, one to create to cut the corrugated um, cardstock that I used for the layer. I had um, picked this up at Hobby Lobby at one of the clearance, my clearance hauls. I did not post that haul, um, but I did pick this up at Hobby Lobby during their clearance and I really loved that I picked it up for $3.75. And I used the blue cardstock, the purple, and the pink, as well as the gray, um, to cut um, them out. And these are all double sided. And these are my um, these are my scraps. And I also used um, some of this shiny tool trim that I got at a clearance from Joann's uh, last year. I used the blue as well as the pink. Um, so let me share with you how I, I cut off the base, um, with the tag and then I cut out the corrugated paper using this, uh, from my corrugated stack. I use the blue one as well as the brown one. And this I picked up at Tuesday morning, um, in 2015 actually, it says 2015. I got it for $5.99, so I've had this um, for a while, and I took the oval um, die cut, and I actually purchased this recently on Amazon. It was like five, five bucks. It's the Sizzix, uh, Tim Holtz Sizzix, um, little coffee. Uh, embossing folder. I really love it. I've seen it on some other um, projects on Pinterest so I had to have it so I went on Amazon Prime and I got it and um, so I cut it using the blue cardstock and the cardstocks I used for my Cricut um, that I really love is the the hot buys so let me show you the hot buy paper packs that I used. So for the straw, I used this pink. And this is the hot buy that you get at Michael's. I always get it on sale for like a $5 or less. So I use that. And then the, um, the blue, I used this. And um, usually there's about, Let's see, three, six, six pieces in each pack. So um, I had plenty um, to cut. And I 
cut 30 of them. So I believe with this specific cut, the blue, I only used about a quarter of a page. And I love my die cutting machine, my uh, Cricut Explorer, because if I'm gonna be making large amounts of projects that are duplicates, um, instead of die cutting each and every one, um, then I just use my machine to, to cut them up. And it's pretty fast and easy. And then I use this cardstock. It's a textured um, cardstock from Walmart. And then the brown for the um, coffee image. And I use this brown. And I really love this cardstock because it cuts pretty easy. And it and it doesn't. Um, as long as your mat is clean and um, free from any. Uh, paper fibers then you get all you always get a smooth cut so I distress the edges on all of my um, cut files so I distress this one with the shaded lilac I distressed uh, this blue color covered with the evergreen bow and I distress the um, the coffee with the tea dye distress ink and it's very light um, you can't really see the white paper ridge so I just wanted to kind of um, cover kind of those up and this pink one I distressed it with this uh, mixed media from color box it's the peaches I cut out the ice and I stickled it with the crystal stickles and I don't know what happened but I did I do remember cutting up about 30 pairs of these little cheeks but I couldn't find them I put them on this tray and I don't know what happened to a couple of them so I ended up um, using the my liquid pearls um, this is the Ranger Liquid Pearls that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Um, and I used them for the cheeks. And I loved how they turned out. I used my Zig two-way glue to paper piece all of these together. And I interchanged, I believe this one is my Spectrum Sparkle um, pen for this. Um, because it really has a wonderful shimmer. So um, that's what I did for this. I'm using this as a tag to wrap my goodie bags in. And I'll share you the final product um, at the end of this video. And I'll upload that share because I am going to tuck a couple of additional goodies. But on the back, I had typed out on this uh, clear sticker uh, label handcrafted with love by a crafty poodle mom on YouTube Siv Z so so that they know who created this I know a lot of the times when I've received goodie bags um, there are no names attached to it so I actually want to be able to uh, people to know that I per I made this and that um, they can find me on YouTube if you enjoyed this video please let me know give me a thumbs up um, and I always appreciate any comments and I enjoy reading them as well. So stay tuned for additional project shares. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.